Hey, I'm your host, Brenda Close. And I'm your co-host, Kaylee Smalley. And this is our podcast, Treasuring Treasuring Education. Education. Welcome back to the Empowering Parents series from Treasuring Education. We're here to help you support your children's journey through school and to provide you with practical tools to support their growth. Today, we'll be discussing a powerful technique called SWOT personal analysis. It's all about understanding your own strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And before we begin, let's see where we're at in this program. So remember, we're taking laps around a five-piece framework for learning. And today's episode begins our third round, and we're on the first puzzle piece of the framework, learning about you. We believe that knowing yourself is a fundamental skill on its own, but especially important as you encourage and support your children's growth. Definitely. SWOT... SWOT analysis is a tool used in the self improvement industry and it's often part of just about any business model. The business world has it right when they encourage their employees to identify those specific strengths and weaknesses and then offer opportunities to engage those strengths and work on the weaknesses. And what an easy and effective tool it is. In our video, we'll dive deeper into the practical use of this self analysis tool, some examples, and steps to take after you've completed the analysis. Today, we'll just walk through a quick introduction. Yeah, so let's start with the first letter, S, which stands for strengths. And your strengths are the positive qualities and skills that make you unique. So just take a moment to think about what you're good at, what you excel in, what comes naturally to you. It could be anything from being a good listener to having excellent problem-solving skills. Well, I think one of my strengths is taking complex ideas and explaining them in easy to understand ways. Kaylee, I think one of your strengths is organization and getting things done. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. And I can agree with that. And that makes me think of how getting other people's perspectives on your strengths can really help you appreciate things about yourself that you may not have considered on your own. Absolutely. The second letter, W, stands for weaknesses. We all have areas where we can improve, and recognizing them is a crucial step toward personal growth. Think about the aspects of yourself or your parenting style that you'd like to work on. It could be managing stress, being more patient, or even improving your communication skills. Remember, acknowledging your weaknesses is not a sign of failure, but an opportunity to grow. Moving on to the next letter, O, which stands for opportunities. Opportunities are external factors that you can use to your advantage. And these could be things like educational resources, support networks, or even personal development programs. So consider what opportunities are available to you as a parent. Are there local parenting groups or workshops you can join? Maybe there are online courses that align with your interests. Do you have strong personal interactions with your child's teacher and other staff? Identifying your opportunities in any situation can help you enhance your life and meet your goals. And when applied to your child's education and growth, identifying your opportunities can help you expand your resources and make your role as a parent much more efficient and pleasant. (laughs) One opportunity our listeners are taking advantage of now is engaging with us in these podcasts. And even further, reach out to us if you have any questions. We have many resources including our weekly Zoom Q&A sessions for parents. Check out our website for more information on that at treasuringeducation.com. Yes, that's another great opportunity. And last but not least, we have the letter T, which stands for threats. Threats are the external factors that may hinder your personal growth or pose challenges in your parenting journey. These could include things like financial difficulties, time constraints, or lack of support and resources. By identifying these threats, you can proactively find ways to mitigate or overcome them and turn them into opportunities. Remember, you're not alone in facing these challenges, and seeking support from others can make a significant difference. SWAT personal analysis is all about self-reflection and understanding yourself as a person. By recognizing your strengths, acknowledging your weaknesses, identifying opportunities, and addressing those threats, You can take actionable steps towards personal growth and becoming the best parent you can be. This process takes time and patience. You're constantly evolving as a parent, and it's okay to have ups and downs. Be kind to yourself. 100%. 
I like to write down my SWOTs with an organizational chart so that I can visualize my goals and what I'm working on for any aspect of my life. And sometimes I even hang them on my fridge. Mm -hmm. But you'll find a deeper explanation and real life examples of how to use this tool in our video that is paired with this podcast. And that's a wrap for today's episode. We hope learning about the SWOT personal analysis technique empowers you to gain a deeper understanding of yourself and your parenting skills. Join us next time for a peek into the stages of your child's emotional development. Thanks for tuning in. Bye for now. Follow us on your favorite podcast platform to get notifications of our next podcasts and sign up for our newsletter at www.treasuringeducation.com.